yo, yo. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video of MLB 99 Inks 22. My name is Brian, and today we are here with our alt account, AK Dukes Jr. Yes, uh, if you weren't at that live stream, I was. I did go ahead and, you know, introduce this team for the first time. If you haven't seen that and would like to see it, it was crazy. I'll leave a link in the description below. We ended up duping. We ended up getting a belly after talking a lot of smack about belly. The game just decided to say, oh, yeah, here's belly. Uh, but uh, to the people who weren't, uh, there or the people who showed up late i'm actually going to make a video introducing the whole team going through skills and stuff like that my plans into the future and stuff like that we're also going to be getting a player to black diamond so stay tuned for that uh but we go ahead before we go ahead and do the team review and get a player to black diamond let's go ahead and talk about this uh, new event that's going on which is insane this is not the first time this event they this event happens. I'm pretty, I'm a hundred, not a hundred percent sure, but I'm more certain, very, very certain that this is not the first time they introduced this event. I remember back then that they did something similar to this. I don't know if it was 500, but it was something similar to this. So, um, you can go ahead and collect 200 on the first day. And then if you click on this, uh, X 500 in red, it gives you an extra 10. Um, <coughs> look, I'm just going to say this. A lot of people complain so much about this game how they don't give good stuff the events suck if you still think that the events suck something's wrong with you man the fact that they're giving 500 premium pair packs you know how long it takes to get that that's like more than a month worth of farming so if you think that they don't help you guys out man they have, they give a lot of free stuff wish player packs um it's it's a lot of things they give out so uh i don't know why people complain so much about this game yeah it has its little bugs here and there but like they have made this game so much easier than what it used to be back then but enough about that that's a whole nother story for a different day so yeah um we are going to get a player to black diamond so let's go ahead and show you guys the team i'm not gonna go too deep into detail right now first we're gonna get a player to black diamond and then we'll go ahead and uh show off the team and stuff like that so this is the team we're gonna go deep into detail earlier but um what i originally said i was going to do was get where is he? We were going to get Baggy to Diamond and then Black Diamond because we did dupe. I went ahead and got a train on him. 12 to the right side is very solid. But I only have about five or seven premium skill change tickets because I'm trying to see if I can get either <coughs> pack, uh, Batteries Chemistry because Muncie has Batteries Chemistry. And I kind of want to get that Muncie out so I can bring in this Muncie Sig in the game and he is potential triple threes so I was thinking let me go ahead and get Baggy but what if I go ahead and get him to Diamond and then get him to Black Diamond and I don't land I don't land anything I don't even land one legend set on him useful or if I do land a legend set what if it's like a batter's inside or something something not useful then he's just going to be sitting on the bench absolutely doing nothing because with this account the the incoming premium skill change tickets is not like how it is on my main account. So it might take a while. So what I was thinking was getting a shooter to black diamond. Uh, he will benefit a lot with getting a, uh, a skill to level A and obviously in the increased stats. And then while we save up uh, premium skill change tickets, we're also saving up black diamond pieces. And then once we have a good amount of premium skill change tickets, then we get baggy to diamond. Then we get into black diamond and then we throw some skills on him and get them ready to go so that's just my opinion i just don't i don't see the need i don't see it my team doesn't benefit so much from getting baggy to black diamond right now with the little bit amount of resources that we do have so we're gonna go ahead and use these black diamond pieces on shooter i'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here as you can see 211 is gonna take forever so we're gonna go ahead and cut the video and we'll see you shortly all right, guys, and now we're back. We only got 20 left to go. Good thing I went ahead and cut that part of the video because that took at least a good solid two to three minutes to do. So, yeah, uh, we're going to get him to Black Diamond. I'm also going to special train him. But again, guys, I don't want to make this a long video for you guys. I know special training can get very, very boring. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that part of the video, too. But let's go ahead and admire this card, man. Beautiful, beautiful animation. A diamond a relief pitcher, I mean, a legend relief pitcher to Black Diamond looks amazing. Gonna be great. Gonna see 
if or do some calculations to see if it is possible to get this card uh location one below two and then break three just to see if that's possible not 100 percent sure if it is possible but we're gonna go ahead and try that out so let's see how it's looking in the lineup so looking nice love to see these cards like that I, I love the way legends look with this being yellow and then you know it's like a, a goldish kind of color and this is black diamond here i just love the way they look they look amazing let's go ahead and do some special training on him and see how much we can max him up we'll be back to that part all right guys so we are back um actually we were able to special train him fairly quickly we had about like a hundred uh gold and tickets a bunch of silvers and i'm pretty sure we still have a bunch left but Main, like I said, the main reason why I felt like this was the better option was because obviously the increased stats on shooter as well as um, able to get a skill to level 8. We're going to go with Untouchable. I feel like it should help him out a lot more. Uh, I saw a very great jump on my main account with the performance on Gagne. He has Winning Streak Finesse Touch all maxed out as a prime. Got him to Black Diamond, got a Touch to 8 in. As you guys saw, I think he had like a point something ERA or something like around that. He had 111 saves with one loss. I think that's what it was. So he's doing very, very well. So I'm happy with this. Uh, maybe later on in the future, looking forward to get him a Black Diamond set, bullpen day, contact, master, fireball with two gold sets. That would be awesome. You know, setup manner, stuff like that. But that will be in the future. So, uh, yeah. So this is the team. So now we're going to go ahead and talk about uh this team and you know my decision going with it okay that's not how he looks solid train i feel like i'm gonna be better but so um the reason why i got this team was because uh there was a couple factors one it has my favorite player on it which i don't have it on my main account which is um adrian beltray i wasn't able to get this card because by the time i started playing the game he was no longer available so that's unfortunate one of my favorite players of all time and he has triple golds so i mean triple blues triple golds the same thing bad machine buried up charisma not the best but still very very solid he does not get the buried up bonus i am going to retrain this because it's just wasting stats to i i feel like we can get something better than barrel it up later down in the future um but yeah so he has a grindal sig which we limit we're very limited on uh, catchers so very solid train 12 to the right side spotlight buried up endurance decent for sure can be better uh not the best when it comes to speed so uh looking to get a new skill set on him 100 percent looking more like spotlight slugger charisma batting machine somewhere between those areas but this is okay so then we got carols at first base now first base is going to be where it gets interesting. He does have an amazing train, eight to the right side, solid skill set with uh, Slugger Instinct Barrett up at five to a player. But as you guys saw earlier, we do have a a baggy, and we have a Muncie twenty one C, which is some crazy power numbers. Nope. So we have uh, Muncie twenty one, which is uh, crazy numbers his best overall year but obviously people love his 19 year because the ability to play second base we have this also able to get triple threes and then we also have a bag wheel that we plan to get to black diamond as well so my thought process is to get bag wheel to play dh and then muncie to play first base if we can get that or we can get Bagwell to have batter's chemistry because the reason why we can't get Muncie in the lineup yet is because this regular Muncie 21 has batter's chemistry. And I think I value um, batter's chemistry to help out overall the whole team over one sig for now. So he's going to stay there in the backup. And again, guys, if you were not at the live stream, I'll leave a link in the description below. We did go ahead and dupe and we pulled a belly. So we do have a belly in the backup. So back to the team. Let's go ahead and go back to the team. 119 overall. So it was at one point, I think it was at 18.9. Now we're at 119. That's solid. Love to see it. So where were we? Okay, so that's that's the situation between first base. Not 100 percent sure what route we're gonna take. We'll just see how it goes in due time. So we got uh Brian Doshier here, uh 13 to the right side, bad machine, uh, charisma and an over yet. He's for sure gonna need some new skills. 
or if we land the Trey Turner, obviously Trey Turner's gonna go in over him 100%. Uh, at uh, shortstop, we have Corey Seager, not his best year, his best overall year for sure, but not his best batting stat wise. But 11 to the right side is a beautiful train, barreled up, slugger instinct, 5 tool player. is a solid skill set, not the best, but still very solid. Then we got a Manny Machado, non uh, Sig, he's a Black Diamond, Pioneer, Spotlight Charisma, it's okay, not the best, but it's going to be solid for now until we see what we get. Hopefully, we pull his Sig one day. All right, now moving to the outfield, we have uh, Dusty Baker, 10 to the right side, beautiful train, 21 to power, spotlight, bad machine, and full swing hitter. I've been throwing blues on him. So, uh, unfortunately, we haven't been landing anything good, so uh, hopefully soon we can land. Uh, we do have a blue at the end of this uh, month. And we got uh, just, Justin, Jock Peterson, Slugger Instant Charisma and Exhaustion. In the backup, he does have triple threes. Looking for a blue ticket as well. I'll go ahead and show you guys. Guy Peterson back up. He has Barrowed Up, Slugger Instinct, and Hawkeye. Um, hopefully, we can get a blue ticket as well. Debating, I'm most likely going to use it on him because at least Dust Baker does have a solid, or not a solid, but a working third skill where Hawkeye is not really doing much. So he most likely might get the blue ticket. And then I think the last person was Cody Bellinger. Uh, obviously, his best year, 74 base, crazy, crazy numbers here. Uh, what is that? 13 to the right side, very solid train right there. The skill sets. We are going to, in the next video, the video that's going to be coming out after this video. I'm actually going to record it right after this. Uh, we're going to get skills on him. Got to get skills on him. Ace that batting machine, barrel it up, and training junkies not good enough. Looking for triple threes as well as a potential solid skill set to run with because. Uh, nowadays, you're literally just looking for triple threes with regular skill change tickets and then fixing him with some blues and greens. So yeah, so that is the lineup. Now moving on to one of my favorite parts of this team, which is the rotation. It's insane. So this is the rotation. We have, actually let's make it look pretty. Let's let it look pretty. So this is the rotation. Now, something that really caught my eye about this rotation is obviously Dunsawing. We have a Legend Dodger, even though it doesn't matter, but it's just Prosperity States, a Legend Dodger, Dunsawing. You guys know how bad I really wanted this card on my main account. Uh, he has Control Master, Mess, and Last Boss, which is a decent. I want to switch Mess something out for, like, you know, Finesse Pitcher, Dominant Pitcher, somewhere between those lines. I feel like that will really uh, boost his performance a lot more. We also have a Kershaw 16. So our one, two, three guys are insane. So we have a 75 base legend. We have Kershaw's best year, 78 Sig, second best card in the game. Then we have a Zach Grinky, his best year, 76 base card. And then we have Rich Hill, which is a 73 base, and a um, Derek Lowe, which is a 71 base. But, 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 in the backup, well, not in the back, in the reserves. We have another 73 base Hunjin Ryu. Well, a lot of people would say there's no point of getting him to black, getting him to diamond because Derek Lowe has triple blues, which yes, I understand. But the fact that I have the potential to have one of the best starting rotation, you know, obviously SIG wise and, you know, like overall wise, 75 legend, 78, 76, 73, and 73. The only thing that's probably missing here that will make this the best, uh, not including skills, that will make this the best starting Dodger rotation will be Max Scherzer, which is 74. That is the only card I'm probably missing. So not only that, I'm also thinking of Hunjin Ryu being a possible uh, six starter. So with one of these guys going down condition, I can go ahead and replace them, uh, you know, to just get better numbers in rank and stuff like that. Because when you're hitting in home games, you know, you're not using a gear or uh, condition drinks, your players in down condition, so obviously he's going to perform uh, not as great as he would usually. Let's go ahead. Kershaw 16 here, beautiful card. Probably going to need a new train. Finesse Dom Mess, solid right there. We got Zach Grinky, which has two to stamina, 21 to location. Velo going second, for sure getting finesse pitcher bonus if he were to able to. He can get finesse pitcher bonus easily, but 
uh, at least, right? Yeah, he's up by what, 21. So can get finesse pitcher bonus easily, um, but he has, I think, fireball stability and last boss. Decent skill set would like to have a legend skill set with higher numbers, in my opinion, but that's, you know, I don't feel like my starting pitchers need help right now. I feel like my batters need a lot more help. All right, so then uh, Derek Lowe has uh, triple blues dominant pitcher, finesse pitcher, mess. That's really good as well. He might need to retrain. Sometimes he does okay. Sometimes he doesn't. I uh, haven't checked so much if he does get the bonus. Yeah, he for sure gets the bonus, but I feel like I can um, get more stats to somewhere else, but that's just my opinion. Then we have Rich Hill, which is 73 base. like this card a lot too, but the only fact that he only has two pitches kind of sucks, especially since that's a card. So like, we can for sure get something better on him, 100%, and he doesn't even get the finesse pitcher bonus, so we might need to uh, reskill re this person 100%, try to get um, location v location first, Velo second, and then fa uh, uh, Breaking Ball third, and I have to reskill him later down the road. Then we got Hunjin Kuo here, um, Dom. Fen and Firefighter high level, so that's a solid skill set right there. Eric Gagne is going to need a new skill set for sure. Um, warm up, Dominant Pitcher Finesse is decent, but not the best. Darius is actually really solid. Finesse, last boss fixer at four, so that's high level as well. Uh, Jensen's going to need a new skill set. He's okay. <coughs> His training is terrible. Uh, Blake Trina just threw him in because obviously because of the addition, so he's going to be the 25th man. Then McGee has pitcher's chemistry, and then a shooter obviously has touch, finesse, and winning streak. And his training is solid as well. But like I said, I'm gonna try to see if I can get locate be uh, location one, below two, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, guys, that is it. Um, this is the team. I feel like it is a very great team especially at the fact that i i sold my a's accounts team and got this team for only 25 dollars more so i think that was a great jump uh in overall wise and skill wise and rank training this rank training is max mentors max it was most definitely nowhere near max on my a's account so yeah guys uh if you made it this far into the video leave a like comment and subscribe and then we'll see you in the next skill change of video for this team peace